Hey everyone, I'm Cheryl McColgan, founder of Peel and Nourish Grow. If you are here for the first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Um, if you're new, this channel, uh, I talk about health and wellness, mostly focused on nutrition, but today we're gonna talk about something that I started using during the pandemic. It's been a little over three years ago now, and it's a system called Lashify. And what I wanted to chat about today is they have a new lash out, uh, the Tulip lash and everybody has been raving about it and I finally just got some so I was going to go ahead and put them on here with you so that you can number one see what they look like see the process I've done two other videos on this it's been a while this setup is very different I have no idea if it's actually gonna work out um, because usually you kind of want to be looking down into a mirror but I have this guy right here that I can um, kind of hold up and use so hopefully it works out we'll see it's also weird like having the camera like this on my phone um, anyway I'll just uh, show you the process and we can kind of see how it goes but I'm just gonna get my hair out of the way a little bit and um, yeah so how I like to do it is I like to I have this little um, silicone sticky pad and I like to lay out my map before I get started so those I just got on Amazon <clears throat> and I'll link some of this stuff below but anyway the reason I'm talking about this on health and wellness channel is you know usually I'm very focused on nutrition and mindfulness practices and all those kind of things but what I discovered during the pandemic was like most people you know we couldn't get our hair done we couldn't leave the house much but I still just felt the need to like I just need something right that's gonna maybe make me feel better and for whatever reason I just thought oh lashes because if you look, you know, you feel good, you look good, look good, feel good, that kind of thing. So it's, it's like they both feed on each other. So having something like this um, is nice. I don't wear them constantly, but uh, certainly when I'm recording more or doing more content, I tend to wear them more. What I'm doing right now is just using the pre-cleanse and that's just to get all of the any oils off around your eyes and on your lashes. A lot of people will just um, use a spoolie and run it through their lashes, but I like doing it around the whole eye area just because if you put on any serums or you have any oily lids or residual oil, it can kind of interfere with the bond of the lashes. So while that is drying down, I'll go ahead and open up the tulips, which I'm very excited about. So um, what I have today is the 10, 12, and 14. That usually works pretty well for the amount of lid space that I have, which is not a whole lot, especially with my eyes being all hooded now, which I am working on that. I've got um, another video. I don't know if it'll be before or after this one, but I'll link it eventually. I've been using the Nira device. It's an at-home laser, um, and it's supposed to help tighten up your eyelids. So I'm about three weeks into that at this point. So we'll see what that actually does anything good but you can see here's the little package of lashes now if you've never used these before you do want to be a little bit careful when you take them out because they can uh, break if you're not careful they're super tiny and delicate I'm sure this is not focusing on that lash but I just go ahead and lay it on my pad like that so that's kind of sticking up away if you can see that it's like away from the pad I don't just put the whole thing on there just really the spine um, so I think what I'm gonna go with is two tens, two twelves, and two fourteens. That pattern for me usually works with the amount of lid space I have um, now that I've been doing it for a while. When you first start, it's kind of hard to know like which lengths and how many and all of that stuff. And it also depends on if you overlap them at all. But the nice thing is if you mess up or something doesn't go quite right, you have the ability to move them around. It's not really like glue, it's a bond. So you have a chance um, to fix them. So now I'm moving on to the 12s. These are a little bit longer. They're all like in millimeters. And yeah, these are really pretty. They're very delicate. Um, whenever they put out a new lash, they don't always uh, put out all the colors right away. Because I think, you know, probably they just want to gauge the popularity of it and kind of see how things go. And plus, you know, black is still the most popular color um, for me some of the lighter colors tend to look better or just not quite as severe but you know i love a good black lash as much as the next person so 
I don't mind whenever they come out with a new style. If they look like something I'm going to want to try, I'll just go ahead and go with the black. Um, these are actually coming out really easy this time, which is nice. Sometimes they can be slightly more challenging to get out of the cartridge, but these are just really coming out super easy. The other thing I'm going to do today is try a new bonding method everybody in the group has been talking about. They have a big Facebook group over um, and it's very active and people are always like sharing their maps, new bonding techniques, how they're getting the most wear. So they're really designed to wear for seven up to seven days, but some people get a lot longer than that. Personally, um, I like to, you know, I like to have a good cleanse, rub my eyes. I don't want them staying on probably for much more than that, just because uh, hygienic reasons. Um, but you know, there are plenty of people in the group that don't seem to have any issue with that, and can get like maybe up to two weeks. Uh, but I think uh, honestly, for your eye health, there's such a thing as eye mites. Which did you know we all have that? <laughs> I went down this rabbit hole one day after I started wearing these because I was wondering about the whole cleansing practice and all that. And you can. You know, wash your eyes very well with them on, but you just can't, you know, you can't rub your lashes when you have them on. So um, I really just prefer to kind of let them come off naturally, um, but this method is supposed to give you a lot more longevity. So how you start out, this is the bond. It's a two-sided bond. One side's white, one side's black. And so for this new method, you start out with a coat of the black. This is a brand new bond, and when you first get it, it's a little bit runnier. So I'm kind of curious, it might take a little longer to dry down before I can put them on, um, but we'll see. But after you use it a few times, it just gets a little bit more air in the tube and it tends to get dry a little more quickly, which can be useful. But so you can see it's like just a tiny little brush. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my left eye. And I have my little magnifying mirror here for my old eyes. But uh, yeah, you just want a light coat. So it's not exactly like putting on mascara, like if you want to think of it like mascara, you're just putting on the lightest coat. And you can see I'm not being super aggressive with how I'm brushing it through. I'm just lightly putting on there. And really that's it. Uh, I don't know if you can possibly see that, but <clears throat> that's all we're going to do. And since I'm trying this new method, I'm going to be like very basic about it. This little tool is nice. It's called the blow tool. It just helps you dry it down a little quicker. And then if you tap on, the, oh, that actually is tacky because I think I put a light enough coat on. Actually, what I might, I might just put like a little bit more. That's what's so great about this system. You're just in total control. And typically I would put, uh, I'm gonna focus this more on the base. And I'm just noticing, occasionally it might happen that you get some lashes stuck together. I do tend to not worry about it so much, but occasionally um, if one's like super clumped, I'm worried that it's going to show through, especially just if it's too sticky. So this nice tool that as long as they're still wet, you can go through the lashes and get them unstuck. And then, and then I also have these extra little tools because I just noticed I got a little dot of bond under my eye. And if you just dab that off immediately. You don't have to really put any remover or anything. So, all right, so this first coat, you're really only supposed to wait like 10 seconds. So I think we're good on that. And then the other side is the white. And all you're doing with this is dabbing dots right at the two millimeters, kind of two millimeters, right above your waterline. Cause you always want to have a little gap in between your waterline and the lashes, but you're just trying to get Dots of bond, ooh, and that's going on perfect. Dots of bond, like right above your waterline. And then this is the frosting part. So this will be interesting. Because sometimes I think when you go all the way through the lashes, it's, it's kind of too much. But you take a flat brush, this is just a makeup brush, and then you're pretending like you're frosting on a cake. You're just smoothing that white bond out a little bit and people have just been saying they've been getting amazing longevity of this so now basically we're ready to ready to rock so go ahead and take my wand 
And I like to start from the inside. People do different things, um, but you can really, you can start in the middle, you can start on the end, whatever you like. And usually it helps if you're looking down into the mirror. So sorry if this is awkwardly filmed because of this setup in here, but it literally just like grips on just like that. And this, yeah, this bond is feeling super grippy. I'm excited about this. And then I like to slightly overlap. So I'm just going maybe like a third over the one that I just placed. Actually, maybe more like a quarter. So there's the second one. And, whoop, oh shoot. Well, no such luck. I had a lost soldier there, <laughs> just slipped right out and fell on my carpet that's below the sink. And it's a dark carpet, so giving it up to the lash gods. So there's the third one, and that is all going on super easy right now. Actually for how fanned these are, you can see I'm almost to the end now, so I'm really only going to need one 14 on the end. And that's the beauty of this, just like being able to change it on the fly. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's see here, if you can get in closer on that. So those are all placed pretty well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, if you weren't happy with it, you can probably see this in my other video because I was, you know, not as good at, I mean, I don't know if I'm still good at it, but not as good at the time. Um, but you can easily pick one off and move it and place it. But I'm liking the way that these look, so I'm gonna go ahead and fuse. So all you do is you go and place it on your waterline and then squeeze for a few seconds, maybe like 10, something like that. And then that's pretty much it. Now you can also go in and they call it reverse fuse because you use the, the wand in a different, in the opposite direction. And you just make sure that they're all Fuse down. Okay, so that's one eye down. So you can see how quick that was. Now I will say, obviously, when I first started doing this, I wasn't anywhere close to that fast. <laughs> um, so it just takes a little practice and there is definitely a learning curve. People get frustrated, but you just need to give yourself some time to get used to it. and you know, to work out what works best with you because everybody has, and again, it's a bond, which I think is so much better for your eye health and for your lashes because a lot of other systems, knockoffs, by the way, this is a patented system. And so all those other lashes that go underneath, never that never existed before this brand and she's patented it all, but everybody knocks her off and she fights it, but it's like, it's you know kind of hard because it's like a losing battle but what i've heard other people talk about those other bonds people say like how they stay on so much longer and stuff but i actually think that that is not good for your eye health because there's no um there's no flexibility to the it's like glue and so if you pull on it at all you're like it's like pulling off you know glued nail like you can rip right same thing for your lashes so with this it's a bond, it's more flexible, your lashes can move, your lashes grow easily. And I just think for overall health that the bond idea is really much, much better. And plus it also allows you, again, to kind of move things around if you mess up. It also allows um, I don't know, it just seems like a better system, in my opinion, because they're easier to take off. So if you do accidentally like rub your eye in the middle of the night, you're not ripping off all your lashes, where I feel like the glue, you could probably very easily do that. Um, the other thing with these is people do clean them and reuse them. And I have done that as well, but, oh, you know what I just realized? <laughs> That's what you get for, see, but you can see how easily I can remove these because it wasn't quite ready yet because I totally forgot the whole white part. 
silly. So you see, I'm not a professional. This is why I always say I'm not a beauty blogger <laughs> because this is the kind of stuff that happens when I make these kind of videos. But I think it's actually kind of good in a way because you can see how like quote unquote normies, normal people or people that whatever, that don't do this kind of stuff professionally. Like you can still have a good result with it. You can still have fun with it. You don't have to be a makeup artist or a lash extension person to have this work well for you. So I really, I really love that about it. Um, and it's just fun. Like I said, I took it up during the pandemic. I have never been, I have had lash extensions, but I'm not like a diehard person that has to have them or anything like that. <clears throat> and so for me, the ability that I could actually do this and like I said, it was a learning curve, but that I was able to do it. It just made it so great. And I think I just, I didn't quite get enough right there because you're doing it from the side. So you're dabbing it and getting these dots. So, and the nice thing is you can see it very easily. So I could just tell I didn't quite have enough on that side once I went to frost it. Okay, so those are all frosted now. So now we'll start again. And starting with the Tulip 10 here, boom. Yeah, that went on so much better that time. And so the thing you're trying to do underneath is leave, you're leaving a small gap. I know you won't be able to see it, but you're leaving like a millimeter or two in between your lash and the waterline because you want your natural lashes to be able to grow out underneath and not be squished. And you also try to line up the spines as you go. Now one thing I'm seeing, this one's shifting a little bit, so I'm gonna do something I didn't do before because of that little shift there. I'm gonna go ahead and use that down so it doesn't move around anymore. Um, so again, you can kind of just see it's, it's really, it's fun. You can play with it. You have time to, you don't do it perfect the first time. You just do it again. And I'm just about done here. Wow. This is so much faster than my, <laughs> my other videos that I made on this. One thing that I, um, didn't make note of this time is that occasionally the reason I do my left eye first is because I'm right-handed and that for the longest time was always the more challenging eye and they tend to kind of be angled slightly differently um, if I'm not careful so I try to pay attention to that but since obviously since I'm recording this I didn't pay a huge amount of attention but I think you know they're also like you're the only one that can tell if they're not perfect so I'm just doing the full fuse. I mean, nobody else will be able to tell. So I'll just be like, wow, the lashes. So now I'm gonna go through and again, do that reverse fuse just to make sure they're on there. Good. Wow, there's one crazy long lower lash that's getting in there. They do actually have a product for that too called Wax. You can put the wax on your lower lashes and they never get stuck together. So now I'm just going into this mirror. This is what I usually use to apply the lashes because it's lighted. And um, so that was, that's a lot easier than what I just did trying to look at you. But um, yeah, I think I'm digging these. So I definitely have my favorite styles. I love the, D plus, the new plus ones are so nice. They're super, super light. These are considered a volume lash and um, let's see if I can, I don't know if I can get in so close that you can really see them close up. But you'll notice, you might notice if you can really see this close that because my lashes are so fair, when you have your, the dark lashes about a millimeter away, there's a slight gap and you might notice it, but again, nobody else is going to notice it. <laughs> nobody else is really that close in to see. But if you see that, that is normal. If you're fair, if you're ginger or blonde, you're probably gonna notice that there's like a little gap in there. So anyway, um, hope that was somewhat entertaining for you. And um, if you haven't tried it yet, 
like I said, I've been using them for three years and they started um, like kind of a partner program. And so because I love them so much, of course I had to get that discount code for you guys. So that's what I always do. Everything, all my discount codes are things that I use and that I love. <laughs> and so if they offer that, I always try to get that because who doesn't love to save money? I am obsessed with getting good bargains. <laughs> so 10% off and what you need to start is the control kit. Um, I have the old one, the like the very first one that they came out with, but now they have a really cool one that has a light built in that's rechargeable, USB rechargeable, called the LED kit. At some point, I'm gonna switch over to that because it would be really awesome for travel because that's one thing when you, I've started taking like a little lighted makeup mirror with me when I travel because um, most often hotel lighting is just not enough to be able to do this <laughs> effectively but that new control kit is really awesome for that and it has everything you need to get started so it's got the bonds it's got glass if you use that i usually don't even use that anymore but it's it's something that you after you let it dry for a little bit you kind of wipe it over the lashes to take away any residual stickiness um so it's got everything in that kit that you need it's got the wand it's got the other thing that people see i have two sets so i have this other one that has the wand them so sometimes when you fuse you want, might want to use these so they're not too sticky um but it's so flexible, like there's a lot of different things that you can do with it. But anyway, so these are the tulips. I'm gonna say, I don't know if they're gonna be my favorite. I'll have to wear them for a couple days and see what I think about the look, because it's hard when I'm looking in this um, phone camera to really kind of tell what I think of the look, but uh, they're all good. <laughs> there's definitely, oh, actually, no, there is one that I don't like that much, and that's the fluffy. It just doesn't really work on my eyes. Um, but that's the fun thing is that's the other tip I probably have after doing this a long time like usually I'll just order the full set I'll order like the 10 12 14 because I know that's what I'm going to use but then if I don't like the lashes much then I might you know they might sit around for a while and a few things can happen with that you might decide that you like them again later because I've gone back to certain ones I'm like oh my god I forgot how much I like these um, or what I probably should do from now on is what I've been thinking is just order one cartridge and like put them on and see if I actually like them before I order like the full set to do the different lengths because I always like this kind of cat eye look I think it like works the best for my lashes but anyway so that's some tips that's how you do it I don't know if I left anything out but the main thing is I wanted to show because I did I did the other video that was about when the new star dress came out and people really seemed to like that they like seeing the new style they like seeing how it goes on and you know how it looks on different people so anyway um yeah I think that's it for today <laughs> Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week, weekend, whenever you happen to be watching this. Um, if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out, whether it's regarding Lashify or whether it's anything health and wellness related. That's kind of my jam. It's what I've been doing for over 25 years. And I'll talk to you again soon.